The pressure is on, and opening game nerves can often take hold. Match day one for these two nations here at the 2024 UEFA European Championship. Who will be first to make their mark on the group? Keep it here with us, the home of football, EA TV. Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And it's match day one in the 2024 UEFA European Championship. It's Germany against Denmark. Well, you have to be consistent in these group games. You can't afford to have an off day, otherwise you're out the running before you know it. Oh, big chance. Well, to think he only had the keeper to beat. Couldn't take the opportunity. Jonas Wint. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer between the posts. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Jonathan Tarr in central defence. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Germany in a position of menace. Will he play it in? Well, we always try to be fair about it, but that really should have been 1-0 early on here. Well, what a chance. That would have been a great start for them. So Germany get the tournament underway on home soil. Scotland, their first opponents, then Hungary and Switzerland. And Julian Nagelsmann, this young tactical innovator, is the man Germany are pinning their hopes on, Stuart? Well, he is, but he's got a very difficult job at the moment because Germany haven't played well in the run-up to this tournament. They haven't played well for quite some while, but they have a great record. They go right back to 1972 when they beat the Soviet Union in Brussels. A great tournament, great teams. Can they do it this time? They've got the home support. I'm not sure they're good enough, though. And the starting lineup for Denmark. Kasper Schmeichel is the keeper. Andreas Christensen plays alongside Yannick Vestergaard in central defence. Pierre-Emile Hoybier plays alongside Christian Eriksen in the centre of midfield. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Musiala. Now options are plenty. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Gundogan. And the attempt just wide. So unfortunate. So, deflection, and it will be a throw-in. Gundogan. Well, that's wonderful attacking play. And playing it through. In it goes! The opening goal in this contest! Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Jonas Vint. And easily intercepted. Kai Havertz. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Gundogan. And we will have just one additional minute. 
And still danger here. And there it is. An almost intuitive piece of finishing. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, a really dominant performance so far from Kai Havertz. Not that that comes as a huge surprise. Well, he's been at his best today. He just seems to get his shots away so easily and he's taken his goals really well. Brilliant stuff from him. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Hoylund. Can he find the right pass? Well, disappointing end to the move. Cross in full control as he gets forward. And he takes it on. Keeper did his job to begin with. Christian Eriksen now. Now perhaps they can counter from here. Well, it petered out. Jamal Musiala. Pulls it back. In the opinion of the referee, that is a penalty. Well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. It should be a yellow card for me. And time for the change now. Can they make it 3-0? Well, the keeper is happy, the bar was there. Danger averted for now. And over the touchline for what will be a Germany throw-in. Here it is now, a substitution. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. And deep into the penalty area. And he clears it out of harm's way. 20 minutes remaining. Paulson. And he keeps going. Well, this would help them get back into the game. And the keeper more than equal to it. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Well, they're going for the short one. A cross lacking guile and accuracy. And Germany exploiting the space on the flank. Gundogan. Well, a stylish moment. Well, credit to him for trying it. Didn't miss by much.
Morten Hulman. Here's Anderson. Poibier. Hulman. Gives it a go. Oh, a smart stop. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. And the referee has given them a corner. And there's the delivery. No nonsense piece of defending. Could be a chance to break here. Joshua Kimmich. So two minutes to be added on at the end. Gundogan. And all over here. An acceptable outcome from a German point of view. A victory for them. Stuart, sum it up for us. Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. Well, one thing we often say about Kai Havertz is that he's so very hard to silence and that was the case in this game. Sum up his contribution for us. Well, I have to say that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.